Well, good morning and welcome to your Sunday Gardener. I'm John Collins along with Carrie Engel from morning, John. Valley View Farms. We're always talking about pollinators uh, when we talk about the garden. We want to help the bees out. They've had a rough time the past uh, number of years because of uh, disease or something is killing them off. We want to bring them back. We do. So we're, we planted a, a perennial pollinator garden up here around our, our water garden area. So it's kind of cool. And you can see the bees love it. Um, come up out here at different times. You also see dragonflies, butterflies, hummingbirds, all sorts of things. Okay, There's, so we have an orange plant here. Yeah, that's orange a very flowers. important plant yeah. to us. We have a lot of people asking for that. That's Asclepius tuberosa or butterfly weed. Okay. And it's a specific host to the monarch butterfly. So monarchs have also seen a decline, so we encourage people to plant those. Now, I also see <laughs> a thistle. That's a weed. We don't use weed killers or chemicals in this particular garden. We're trying to be natural with it. So what do you do with a thistle? We pull it. Because <laughs> you don't want it to go to seed. That That's right. Is, you ought uh, to be careful. I like mean, analyzed. the birds do love it, but, but be, be honest with you, because it is a noxious weed, we shouldn't have it here in Maryland. So we will pull that, so uh, that once we're off pulled. camera. Yeah. The old-fashioned way of weeding. Things. Exactly. So this is a great plant here. This mass planting is Spigelia, and this is a great plant for hummingbirds. Um, they love that tubular flower on there, and they'll just go to town on that. So that's very cool. And this is echinacea? That's echinacea or coneflower. I love it. It's kind of the birdie, badminton birdie look on it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Right. Um, this is Liatris. Now this is also called gay feather. What's interesting about this plant is it blooms from the top down. It has, so this one hasn't bloomed yet. It hasn't bloomed yet, but it's starting to. And I don't know, Julian, if you can get back here a little bit, you'll see some that are a little farther along. Um, that are starting to put out these tufts of color. Also called gay feather, uh, the people that do flower arranging love this plant. Almost looks like something from Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's very you know cool, that? yep. <laughs> All right, so what's this blue, this mass of blue plants here that there are a lot of bees in? That's Nepeta, also called cat mint, um, and the bees do love it. It's a wonderful plant for pollinating. A lot of people plant this around their vegetable garden to bring bees in. That and a lot of the salvias are excellent for that. And back there you have a tall plant with big leaves and some flowers at the top. Yep, and that's the Sclepius too, so it's also in the milkweed family. Uh -huh. So a lot of the plants absolutely do love those as well. Yeah. Now, <laughs> these plants are gorgeous. They're really flying, as I'd say, uh, as far as health. How do you, what do you fertilize them with? Uh, we may fertilize them with plant tone or just a good organic slow-release fertilizer. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also use compost in here, but we don't do a heck of a lot, to be honest. So a lot of it's just trying to keep the weeds out. We don't use mulch all the time because we want plants to reseed themselves in this area and just to keep it going, have a more natural setting. All right, so how, this is a perennial garden. All right, so these come up year to year to year. How do you start one like this so it looks this lush or do you does it take a couple of years to it get does to this point with perennials i always tell people first year they sleep second year they creep third year they leap so give it some time some of them will take off in the second year mm -hmm. but a lot of them it's going to be the third year before you get this just burst of color so i uh for this kind of gardening i guess patience is patience. a virtue yep and that first year plants some annuals in there some lantana and mm -hmm. some salvia that are also great so these fill out plants. exactly okay great ideas for a perennial garden that helps the bees and butterflies, all right? There you go. Terry, thanks. Next Sunday more on your Sunday Gardener. We'll see you then.